at Astro Abiska. Welcome to Genshin Impact and D&D Traveler. I'm Talon Striker and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about the Dandelion Knight and Acting Grandmaster of Mondstadt's Knights of Avonius, Jean. But before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified when a new video comes out. Jean, why don't you introduce yourself? I am Jean, the Dandelion Knight, requesting approval to join your party. From this day onwards, my honor and loyalty lie with you. Well, without further ado, I bring you all Jean in D&D. The goals for this build are as follows. Jean needs to be a knight of the people being able to help and protect others, a refreshing breeze to heal those who are injured or worried, and become a storm of blades that cuts down her enemies. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. Starting out, Jean's race will be a human variant. Here she'll get a plus one to both her dexterity and her charisma. She also picks up the draconic language and the history skill. Jean also gets the feat telekinetic, which lets her summon a brief gust of wind that can push or pull something to her. She also gets a plus one to charisma because of this and the spell mage hand, which lets her make an invisible force of wind that can pick up and move small objects for her. Dandelion, dandelion. Ride the wind to a faraway land. Who knows? The wind might take it all the way to Celestia. For stats, Jean will go with Sandra Ray. Her strength is a 13 thanks to her daily night training. Her dexterity is a 15 as she is one with the wind. Constitution is a 10 since she tends to push herself harder than she should. Intelligence is a 14 thanks to her upbringing as a child and Varrock's training. Wisdom is an 8 to do with the fact that she tends to ignore her own well-being to help others, and Charisma is a 12 because she commands the respect and admiration of both her knights and the people. I shoulder the knights' trust and the people's hope. It is for this reason I must stay vigilant. Jean's background is a noble. This gives her persuasion and perception skills. She's good at convincing others and looking out for danger, while she also gets the language Leonin and learns how to play Dragon Tress as well. The Dandelion Knight is also called the Lion Fang Knight, so this just makes the most sense. For Mondstadt, as always, is the Gunhilder family motto. Every time I use my vision, I am reminded of my mother and the hopes of the people of Mondstadt. For Mondstadt, for freedom, that is what I fight for. Jean's personal characteristics are as follows. Her personality traits are that the common folk love me for my kindness and generosity. Despite my noble birth, I do not place myself above other folk because we all share the same blood. Ideals are for Mondstadt as always. It is my duty to protect and care for the people. Bonds are I will face any challenge to help my homeland. And her flaws are that I push myself to the point of collapse in order to get a task done. I can't let those who trust me down. Vanessa's title, Dandelion Knight, has been passed down from generation to generation. Countless great knights were awarded with this honor, and I will not bring shame to this name. Thus, I must keep going. I must become the sword and aegis of the people. Starting out, Jean will be a paladin. At level 1 paladin, Jean gets athletics and intimidation skills. She also gets divine sense and lay on hands. Divine sense lets her open her awareness to detect any supernatural thing within range. Lay on hands gives Jean a pool of healing power that she can use to heal others, cure one disease, or neutralize one poison. At level 2 Paladin, Jean gets a fighting style being Dueling, Divine Smite, and access to level 1 spells. Dueling lets Jean deal more damage when she fights with a single weapon in her hands. Divine Smite lets her empower Radiant Energy into a weapon when she strikes to deal extra damage. The spells she picks up are Cure Wounds, Shield of Faith, and Thunder Smite. Cure Wounds lets Jean make a healing breeze of animal that recovers the target's HP. Shield of Faith has Animo dance around a target making them harder to hit, and Thunderous Smite infuses Jean's next attack with a rush of Animo that lashes out to deal more damage and potentially push them back. This is a form of her elemental burst. At level 3 Paladin, Jean gets her subclass being Oath of the Crown. At this level she gets Channel Divinity, Divine Health, and Oath spells. Channel Divinity lets her harness her beliefs into one of three effects. Champion of Challenge lets Jean issue a challenge that compels other creatures to do battle with her, making it so they can't run away from a fight. Turn the Tide lets her call upon Animal to heal her allies for a little bit to keep them in the fight. And Harness Divine Power lets Jean use Animal around her to regain a spell slot. 
Divine Health makes it so that Jean is immune to any disease. She's never had a sick day, that's for sure. Oath spells give Jean some spells automatically for every few levels. At this level, she gets Command and Compelled Duel. Command lets Jean speak a one-word command like stop, come, or flee that can force a creature to follow it. And Compelled Duel lets her try and compel a creature to have an honorable one-on-one -on -one fight. At level 4, Jean gets the feat Inspiring Leader. This lets Jean give a speech that bolsters her allies' courage and gives them temporary HP for the day. At level 5, Jean gets Extra Attack and access to level 2 spells. Extra Attack lets Jean make 2 attacks instead of 1 attack each turn. Here she picks up the spell's Prayer of Healing. This spell lets nearby Animo come and soothe the wounds after a few minutes of rest. The oath spells that she gets are Warding Bond and Zone of Truth. Warding Bond creates a mystic connection between her and someone else giving them some defensive buffs and have her take half the damage they would take. Zone of Truth creates an area of animal that can detect lies and lets Jean know about it. Good. On to our next objective. Now Jean can switch over to Wizard for the next few levels. At level 1 Wizard, Jean gets Arcane Recovery and access to level 1 Wizard spells. Arcane Recovery lets her use nearby animal to regain a spell slot. Here she gets 3 cantrips being Green Blade, Gust, and Message, and picks up the level 1 spells Absorb Elements, Detect Magic, Featherfall, Magic Missile, Shield, and Thunder Wave. Booming Blade infuses Jean's weapon with Wind to strike an enemy. The enemy takes thunder damage and Animo surrounds them. If they move afterwards and disturb the Animo, Wind lashes out of them dealing thunder damage again. Gust lets her manipulate Animo around her to do some minor effects like causing leaves to rustle, Wind to slam shut or shut, or clothing to ripple in a breeze. Message lets Jean whisper some words of the animal in the area carry to an ally that only they can hear and they can reply in response. Absorb elements have Animo capture some of the incoming energy that would hurt Jean, lessening its effects and storing it for her next attack. Detect magic lets her see anything magical within range. This is her elemental sight because we always have to pick that. Featherfall lets Jean summon a draft of animal to catch her and some of her allies, slowing their fall. Magic Missile forms three blades made of animal to strike enemies guaranteed. Shield lets Jean summon a quick gust of animal to protect her from harm. Thunder Wave creates a wave of animal energy that deals thunder damage to those in the area and potentially pushing them away. At level 2 wizard, Jean gets her subclass being Blade Singing. This gives her training in Worn Song and Blade Song. Training in Worn Song gives her proficiency with a rapier and the performance skill. Blade Song lets Jean manipulate the animal around her to give herself supernatural speed, agility, and focus in combat. She also picks up the spells Catapult and Unseen Servant. Catapult lets Jean pick up a small object and use Animo to launch it at an enemy to slam into them and deal damage. Unseen Servant allows Jean to summon an Animo Servant to help around with some simple tasks. At level 3 wizard, Jean gets access to level 2 spells. Here she picks up the spell Gust of Wind and Mirror Image. Gust of Wind makes a line of Animo that can be changed to push back anything that gets caught up in said line. Mirror Image uses the Animo around in the area to make an illusionary duplicate of Jean to throw off her enemies and potentially making them miss her. At level 4 wizard, Jean gets the Warcaster feat, which means she's so used to casting spells in combat that she has an easier time casting and maintaining them. She also picks up the Cantrip Sword Burst and the spells Misty Step and Skyrite. Sword Burst summons a blade of animal that's been around Jean to deal damage to those near her. Misty Step lets Jean summon animal to transport her to a nearby location instantly. And Skyright lets Jean use Animo to manipulate the clouds in the sky to write a message for a duration. At level 5 wizard, Jean gets access to level 3 spells. Here she gets Counterspell and Haste. Counterspell lets Jean try to use Animo in an area to interrupt another spell that's being cast. Haste lets Jean infuse a creature with Animo to boost its combat abilities for a duration, but at the end leaves them lethargic for a few seconds. As the wind continues to blow, so too shall I continue to fight. At level 6 wizard, Jean gets extra attack. With this version, Jean can make a regular attack and use a cantrip instead of making two normal attacks. She also picks up the spells Blink and Fly. Blink has animal potentially displace Jean from existence in order to avoid damage, while Fly lets Jean manipulate the animal around her, granting someone the ability to fly freely. 
With this, Jean is done with Wizard and can go back to Paladin. At level 6 Paladin, Jean gets Aura Protection, which lets Jean passively bolster her allies when they need to try and avoid danger. She also picks up the spell Gentle Repose, which lets her summon an Animo field to protect the corpse or remains from decay for up to 10 days. At level 7 Paladin, Jean gets Divine Allegiance, which lets Jean, when she's right next to somebody, take damage for them instead. She tends to take on other people's responsibilities when they're in need of help. At level 8 Paladin, Jean gets the Sentinel Feat, which means Jean has master techniques to take advantage of every drop in an enemy's guard. If an enemy tries to run away from her, she can attack them to force them to stay where they are, as well as attack an enemy that tries to attack somebody else when they're right next to them. She'll punish anyone who tries to harm others and make a break for it. At level 9 Paladin, Jean gets access to level 3 spells. Here she picks up the spell Crusader's Mantle. Jean summons Animo to infuse allies' weapons with radiant damage. Her Earth spells give her Aura of Vitality and Spirit Guardians. Aura of Vitality has healing Animo energy radiant from her, allowing her to heal somebody each turn. Spirit Guardian lets Jean summon Animo around her to lash out at enemies that foolishly get close to her. Although we have peace, we must not become complacent. As the acting Grand Master, I must remain vigilant. At level 10 Paladin, Jean gets Aura of Courage, which makes it so anyone close to her can't be frightened. She also picks up the spell Revivify, which lets Jean flow Animo back into someone who died in the last minute to give them back their final breath. At level 11 Paladin, Jean gets improved Divine Smite. This lets Jean passively infuse her attacks with Animo to deal radiant damage. At level 12 Paladin, Jean gets an ability score increase, being a 2 to Dexterity. Jean trains every day to make sure her attacks strike swiftly and true. At level 13 Paladin, Jean gets access to level 4 spells. Here she picks up Aura Purity, which has purifying animal radiant from Jean, making it so creatures can't be diseased, have resistance to poisons, and have a better chance at dealing with negative conditions. Her Earth spells give her Banishment and Guardian of Faith. Banishment lets Jean attempt to send a creature to another plane of existence to either send it back from where it came or give her allies time to come up with a plan to deal with it. Guardian of Faith lets Jean make a large guardian made of Animo to protect a location for a few hours. At level 14 Paladin, Jean's final level, she gets Cleansing Touch which lets her use Animo to automatically end a spell that's affecting a creature. She also picks up the spell Fine Greater Steed which lets her summon a loyal majestic mount made of Animo that takes on the appearance of a creature like a griffin or pegasus. I am still not good enough. Ever since I met you, I have been indebted to you for your assistance. My gratitude. Wind, please forgive my selfishness. Not as the acting Grand Master, but as Jean. I hereby swear that my sword shall always go with you. With this, the Danny Lion Knight and acting Grand Master Monset Tenexa Favonius, Jean is done. She's always been dedicated to helping others and the wind has never led her astray. But now comes the pros and cons for the build. Pros are that Jean has many different kinds of techniques and skills that she uses to protect others and reduce or negate damage. She's also a master of the blade, being able to infuse her attacks with different animal effects to deal constant damage. She also has a decent amount of spells that she can use to heal others or get rid of negative effects. Cons are that Jean is fragile as a dandelion, having around 100 HP and a low armor class outside of spells. She also has scattered ability scores since she needed to multi-class, so none of her stats are 20. Jean also doesn't have that many spell slots thanks to the fact that she's a paladin with a few levels in wizard. But as long as Jean sticks with her fellow knights and knows when to depend on them, she'll be fine. Thank you for completing today's commission, and I'll see you all next time when we talk about the Procession de Etalon.